I, I like the stuff on Facebook and YouTube because it gives us profession credibility. Heart infill there. Capul cap scapular mineral <coughs> adhesion here. That's a typical and classical adhesive capsulitis pattern. Oftentimes they'll have 20 degrees of flexion, no abduction, because everything is glued together. So I want to know if there's a strain or sprain. Let's do some quick muscle testing. When you medially rotate your shoulder, I want to know if that increases anterior shoulder pain. Go ahead and do like we're going to arm wrestle. Any pain in the front? No. Nope. Okay, let's check your biceps. When I pull down resist knee, any pain in the front of the shoulder? A little bit. Whereabouts? That's the acromium sitting on the supraspinatus because of an elevated humeral head and trapping the nerve that's in the distal end of the supraspinatus radiating into the deltoid due to impingement. Let's go up on the table. We're going to show how fast and easy this works. Let's go to pec major. Keep going until we see pec major. Let me just scooch up on the, on the body cushions a bit. I want you all the way up so your SI is right on the end of that. Now go straight back. Come up just a touch more. So your sacrum supported. All right, straight back. And I'm going to put the armrest in here. And that was your, which side? Okay. So, a lot of me on to said that to treat shoulders, you need to treat pec major, pec minor, biceps, upper traps, middle deltoid, and subscut. What well, Vladimir didn't talk about was adhesive capsulitis, which means you can't do his protocol. 